Hello, in this video we'll be looking at Save Tonight by Eagle Eye Cherry. Now quite often this is seen as a beginner song because it only has four chords in it, A minor, F, C and G. But it does have the F, which is quite a tricky chord, and a quite a fast 16 note strum pattern. So before we get into the song, let's zoom in and have a little look at the chords. Okay, so the first chord is A minor. So we're going to take first finger and put it on the B string first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and third finger on the G string second fret. And we strum from the A string down. So only five strings missing out the low E. Now to start with, when you're strumming a song, or when you're beginning any particular chord, you could strum all six strings, just because trying to get accuracy of your right hand is quite tough. But you do want to try and get rid of that E. The only reason why is because it's quite overpowering in the shape. So any bass string will have that effect. So as you take it out, it sounds a lot cleaner. So that's the first chord A minor, the next chord's F. All we're going to do is drop down the second finger. So it goes on the G string second fret, and then third finger goes on the D string third fret. Now the trick thing about F is we're then going to bar or lay down first finger so it holds down two strings. So the E and the B string are fret one. And that's uh, what barring means. You're going to hold down two strings at once. So it's a half bar chord or partial bar chord, so only hold down two strings. And you may see an F like this, where you hold down six, but we're only going to do the two string version in this song. So first finger across the first fret of the B and the E string, second finger on the G, and third finger on the D. This is taken from the fourth string down, so missing out strings six and five, or E and A. So there's the F. The next chord is C. The bass is going to lift that shape up, so second finger goes onto the D string, third finger goes on the A string, and then first finger just rolls back up. So we're not holding down the top E, but we are still holding down the B. The top E is open and left to ring. So we have first finger on the B string fret one, second finger on the D string fret two, and third finger on the A string fret three. And this is strung from the A string down. Just be careful that G string, not to snag it, as we have second finger just above it and the first finger below. Make sure it's ringing cleanly. And the last chord is G. Um, G is first finger on the A string second fret, second finger on the low E or string six, third fret, and third finger on the high E or top E, third fret. And that's all six strings. So we have A minor, F with the bar, we have C, just lifting them up, and then G. Now one alternative to the G chord shape is when we go from the C, is lifting up these two fingers and then putting the little finger on the top E. So that means we don't have to obviously move our hand completely over. You can just lift up and the little finger comes on. So that's quite a quick way of doing it. The only problem is obviously we're using a little finger. It's a weak finger, so you might find it's difficult to place it. So it doesn't matter. You could experiment using that way or G using fingers one, two, and three. Entirely up to you, but there is a little bit of a shortcut there if you want to take it. And that's all the chords for the song. Okay, now we've got the chords down. Let's have a bit more of an in-depth look at the actual chord pattern. So it starts with A minor, then goes F, then C, and then G. And that's it for the whole song. It just keeps going around that. So it is a great one for uh, kind of beginner guitarists because it is so repetitive. I say it is quite quick. So up to speed, A minor. Strum pan, so it's quite tough, it's 16th note based. So on the A minor, we're gonna go down, 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 up, or down, 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 down,
We also feel a bit muting with our right hand. So when we strum the strings, but we don't actually get any noise from them. The best way of doing that is just um, laying the palm of your hand just in front of the bridge to have that muted sound and then incorporating that. down, taking off again, and just doing kind of what feels natural, feels right. And that's pretty much it. The only other section is a bridge where he plays the same chords. And that's pretty much it, Big Like Jerry. There is a slide guitar solo in there, which might be worth looking at kind of later on. But for the rhythm part, uh, that is pretty much it. So hopefully that made sense. Um, there'll be a chord sheet in the kind of information box below, in case you get stuck. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.